And Sheldon, it was at times a raucous gathering here at the Menominee Falls Village Hall tonight. Congressman James Sensenbrenner got an earful on everything from the pending repeal of Obamacare to the president's immigration policies. No ban, no wall. America has room for all. Voices of protest against President Donald Trump's immigration policies outside and inside a town hall meeting hosted by Congressman Jim Sensenbrenner in Menominee Falls Sunday night. Three years of vetting. Three years. Syrian Ali Hamada joined the debate as part of the overflow crowd. Ali is a U.S. citizen working as an engineer in southeast Wisconsin, and he wants his widowed mother in Dubai to come to the United States. She has gone through the immigration approval and all of that, and it has been three years since, you know, we are waiting, and they're saying, like, you know, not done, not done, not done. So when I hear the word extreme vetting, I think, you know, of my mother. Valerie Brussett was criticized by protesters for saying she's in favor of building a wall and the temporary ban on immigration from some predominantly Muslim countries, including Syria. There are many um, Syrian immigrants that have, that we have caused to suspect of being um, radical Islamic terrorist sympathizers. And so I think we need, and first and foremost, is to keep our country safe. The president should not have said that green card holders from the seven countries can't be admitted to the United States. That was a mistake. Nonetheless, Congressman Sensenbrenner says he supports Trump's executive order on immigration. President Trump has been very adamant in saying that the safety and security of the American people shall not be compromised, period. And I agree with that. I also asked the congressman for his take on the president's first week in office, and he said he's following through on the campaign promises he made, and that's why protesters say they were here tonight to voice their opposition. Live in Menominee Falls, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News.